Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we'll be solving another interesting question called arrays with GCD. And here is the question. Repeti gave you an array A of n integers A1, A2, so on and so forth, An. You can update the array elements by following rules. Choose two adjacent elements from array A. Let them be x and y. You can replace only one of them with a GCD of x of y where GCD means the greatest common divisor. The greatest common divisor of two or more integers which are not, not all zeros is the largest positive integer that divides each of the integer. For example, for 8 and 12, it is 4 because 4 is the largest integer which divides with both the elements. Completely makes sense. Now, your task is to find the minimum number of operations required to make all elements uh, of an array equals to 1. You have to answer the for the t independent test cases. Understood. So, basically, the question is talking about, uh, about given an array. Okay, let's say we have a of 1, a of 2, a of 3 and so on and so forth. You have a and elements. Out of that, they are asking us to uh, make all these elements to 1, 1, 1, all 1s and asking how many steps is required and what are the steps? The steps are you can pick two elements, two elements which are adjacent, okay, and call them x and y. You can replace one of this value with a GCD of x comma y. Okay, up to us, whatever element you can pick, you can replace with that. And you perform this step how many times? You know, that's the question mark. Minimum number of times you have to perform this step and make all the elements to this. So, this should be your resultant. And if it's only possible, only then we have to give back the number. I think else you have to return minus 1. Yeah, that's what it is. And what is GCD? Basically, GCD is the greatest common divisor. And the example is F a GCD of 8 and 12 if you put it down it's going to be 4 the reason is after 4 there is no other number which is divisible by both of this okay so that is the greatest divisor so let's look at the input format the follow uh, the first line contains an integer t representing the number of test cases t test cases follow the first line of each test case contain a positive integer n the length of the array the second line of each test case contains n positive space integers that is a1 a2 so on and a n great so uh, basically you will be given test cases and then the size and then eventually the array would be given perfect so uh, what should we print the first test case uh, for each test case print the minimum number of operations required to make all the elements of an array equal to 1 in the new line. If it's impossible to convert all the elements to 1, then print minus 1. Perfect. So, here is the question. Uh, we have size of 3 and then 2, 6 and 9. So, let me take our array. You have an array 2, 6 and 9. So, it's up to us whatever we can do. So, first of all, let's take this and this. The GCD of this is going to be 3 guys because 3 is the largest which is divisible by both the elements correct. So what do I do? I go ahead and I make 3 and 9 and then what do I do? I just take these two. The greatest common divisor for this two is 1. So if I make 2, 1 and 9 in that case the, again the greatest divisor between these two is 1. I make 1, 1 and 9 and eventually the greatest divisor between these two is 1, 1 and 1. So that takes one step, one step, one step, one step, eventually four steps. The answer is four. Yeah. So the question is straightforward. You have to pick any two elements from the array, perform the GCD, replace X any of the two elements with the resultant of the GCD, and then continue that process as till your entire array becomes one. And tell us how many steps it took or how many times you have to perform the GCT operation to get the entire array as one. If it is not possible, then we have to print minus one. So, I'll just quickly give a thinking pause so that you guys can go ahead and think on it. 
post that i will tell how i'll be solving this question okay folks so let's get back so one thing is that uh if you look at this process right or uh, whatever i perform you could have actually gone anything whatever you want right okay so what i feel is the moment our, our our goal should always be to at least get one so if you look at this this whole thing there's a trick that the moment you reach one one at any given moment in time you make a gct with any other element in the entire array it will always become one so that basically means you need to get your very first element one and then it just takes the rest of the elements so, so let's assume that you got your first one here after that number of elements that are left with are not one you just need to count and just tell those many steps that's it so that's the crux or the or the or the you know the heart of the, the problem apart from that you just have to follow the basic thing so let's assume if, if the given array is something like maybe let's assume 5 8 10 and 1 in this case i would directly say the answer is going to be 3 the reason for that every time i make a gd gcd with some other element and 1 the answer is always going to be 1 and with that i just have to make a gcd of all the elements with 1 i'll end up with 1 1 and then eventually here and 1 1 1, one. so it's only the three steps so you need to do the gcd exercise as long as you need to get your first one so the moment you get that then that's going to be a very happy path and we can continue the entire thing so uh that's how we're going to solve guys let's go back and see how we can write the code for this okay folks so here is the here is the code for it so basically what i'm doing is initially i am just reading the number of test cases and n and taking my array so while i'm actually taking the array what i'm just doing is i'm counting the number of ones that are present in the array okay so as i told you earlier so if i know the number of ones are here we can just simply say that non ones minus the number of ones that is the answer because if you do a gct with one you'll always end, uh, end up with one okay so what i'm doing is i'm just counting and then what i'm written is n minus the number of ones are present okay so that's my going to out if i have a one then you don't have to do anything it's going to be constant space else if it is not so that is the moment that where we have to go ahead and find the gct so i'm using the inbuilt function to find the gct so what i'm doing right now is i'm iterating i'm writing a nested for loop where i is starting from the very first element and j is going to start from the zero and run through all the way uh to the to the to the you know n okay so what i'm doing is i'm just checking with a of j with the a of j plus one and then i'm checking if any point in time if you encounter gcd of one then i'm going to just stop it again so the moment i get a one i break and what i do is i count where is my i is currently okay so that basically means that till that far you know you have to perform so that plus the rest of the elements is what what uh, i'm going to return back guys so and eventually you can if if you never encounter this is a limited time guys so i going to only run max n times so each element okay so after that you'll just stop there so if you never encounter okay so basically here my f is a flag which is going to tell me if i have encountered one so that uh, it will make all my rest of the array equal correct so if you never encounter eventually and you stop it so that basically means that you never got like so that 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 is the case where you couldn't convert all your elements to one so i'm just written minus one so let's go ahead and quickly test if the scores is working Yeah, 
it's working as expected let's try submitting our code accept it a quick summary to the question it is asked us to find the number of times you perform the gcd operation to get all your elements as one so what is a G gcd operation you take any of the two adjacent elements in the array you perform the gcd on them and you can replace any of these two elements with the resultant value and you perform this operation n number of times and you have to tell how many times will it take to make your entire array as one that's all guys that's what the question is and what we are doing is we're just finding the one or the times it is taking to get your one because gcd any number with one is always going to be the one so find your number one and then then the, the remaining ones is the number of times of it so here's the classic example again you if you have one in the given array you don't really have to do anything just count how many elements are there which are not one and then say three is the one so you do you do it like three times and then you get all your elements as one 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 so that's what the code is thank you guys